Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're trying to warm up a frozen toy that broke the first time a child played with it. Because I'm always up for a challenge and I hate to see kids disappointed, I wanted to take on the opportunity to try to fix a toy that our best friend's little girl had just gotten as a gift and it didn't work. So the first thing I did was got all the parts out and tried to figure out what the problem was. The base that this little helicopter sits on works just fine, but I quickly noticed that there are too many pieces and the instruction manual didn't show that these pieces needed to be put together. Since I always want to believe that the easiest solution is the most obvious one, I just put all the pieces back together and thought, well, let's give it a try and see if that's all it needed to make it work right. Honestly, it did not take me at all to realize that this thing just doesn't seem quite right. It's definitely wobbly and off balance, and there's no way it can fly straight up if that is gonna to continue to be the problem. So, again, easiest solution, try to see if anything looks bent or out of shape. And with everything apparently in place, let's just try it again. Same problem, but all the parts are on. Let's move on to the next easiest or most obvious possible solution. Maybe it just doesn't have enough power to hold itself upright and lift off. I'm gonna charge it to get a full charge and try it again. And hey, guess what? It's still off balance and unstable. Ah, all right, back to the drawing board. Since obviously Elsa's problem is concealed within, it comes to reason that I'm gonna have to go ahead and just take it apart. A little FYI, the feet on this thing can be pulled off if you pull hard enough, but I did find that twisting it helps tremendously in getting it off. It's not really threaded on there, but a threading action does really assist with getting it off much more easily. Then, four little screws gets the base plate off the bottom of the copter. I was hoping for an obvious glaring issue that was easy to fix, like maybe the sensor was misaligned or a wire was slightly loose or not connecting quite right, but that wasn't it. So time to dig deeper. Now I was able to find an easy and glaring problem that is pretty easy to fix. There's double stick tape on the back of the battery that's supposed to hold it against the side of the copter and it's not working so the battery's loose which means when the copter tries to fly it's bouncing around inside making the whole thing extremely unstable. I really do like these easy kind of fixes because all you have to do is pull out a roll of double-sided mounting tape often used for hanging pictures and things like that and just put a little piece on the back of the battery and stick it back on the inside and make sure it's firmly attached and can't move around. So now it's just a simple process of putting everything back in the reverse order that I took it apart, making sure that there's no wires or anything else that can interfere with the axle, the rotor axle, that goes up the center and attaches to Elsa's head. Here's another little funny discovery. The wig on the top of Elsa is held on with the same cheap double stick tape. And if you don't try to make sure that's fixed down really well, she's gonna let it go. Okay, fingers crossed, copter, on stand, power up, try it again. Success! She takes off straight up and comes straight back down balance fixed but she didn't stay up so I'm thinking she needs more power after a full night's charge let's go again and she takes off and goes much higher this time 
and comes back down, so try it again. So again, she'll take off but won't hover, and I just can't seem to put my hands on the problem. <laughs> Alright, seriously, that was the last bad pun. Sorry. Although I could fix the easy problems, I couldn't seem to fix the hover issue, so I will put some thoughts in the comments below regarding what I think might be going on. If you have your thoughts, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below as well. Hey, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY and chill with me for a while while we take a look at this Elsa helicopter to figure out why the motion sensing and balance didn't work. While you're here, I'd love it if you'd do me the favor of clicking that thumbs up to let me know you watched, stuck through it, liked it, or maybe just got something out of it. Hit that subscribe button while you're here and ring the bell so you can get notifications for future videos. And please come on back in the future because there will be plenty more Dialed In DIY to come.